when someone has a spinal injury, the greatest risk is their spinal cord may be temporarily or permanently damaged. If a casualty has suffered an abnormal force to the neck or back and is complaining of changes in sensation or difficulty in moving, they could have a spinal injury. You must take care not to unnecessarily move their head, neck or spine. Some of the following incidents could indicate a possible spinal injury. They could have fallen from a height, such as from a ladder. Fallen awkwardly when doing gymnastics. From diving into a shallow pool and hitting the bottom. A collapsed rugby scrum. Fallen awkwardly from a horse or motorbike. They could have experienced sudden deacceleration in a car. Had an injury to the head or face. Or had a heavy object fall across their back. If you suspect someone has a spinal injury, there are several key things to look for. They may have pain in their neck or back where the injury occurred, have bruising and tenderness in the skin over the spine, an irregular twist in the normal curve of the spine, have breathing difficulties, loss of bladder and or bowel control. They may lose control of their limbs, may lose sensation or have abnormal sensations such as tingling or burning or their limbs feel stiff, heavy or clumsy. If you think they have a spinal injury, reassure the casualty and advise them not to move. Call 999 or 112 for emergency help. You should then kneel or lie behind the casualty's head, rest your elbows on the ground or on your knees to help keep your arms steady. Hold each side of their head with your fingers spread so their ears are not covered and they can still hear you. Support their head in this position so the head, neck and spine are aligned. While you support their head, ask a helper to place rolled up blankets, towels or clothes on either side of the casualty's head. Make sure you continue to hold this position until emergency help arrives. Do not move the casualty from the position that you have found them in unless they are in immediate danger and it's safe for you to do so. Monitor their level of response until help arrives. If they become unresponsive at any point, prepare to treat an unresponsive casualty. So remember, if you suspect a spinal injury, reassure them and call 999 or 112. Don't move them. Support their head and neck until help arrives. And that's how you help someone with a spinal injury. If this video has been helpful to you, help support St John Ambulance by going to sja.org.uk forward slash donate. <laughs>